clues and learn to tell you. Are you blind or you just enjoy throwing random useless questions? I'm sorry. No offense. I did not demand for an explanation. What are you doing with her? Venice? She was teaching me to. She's teaching you a job? I asked her. She resisted, but I insisted. Venice, you don't need this kind of stress. These are jobs meant for servants and semi slaves only. With all due respect, I am not what you refer to me as, and I demand. You have no right to demand anything from me, Norma. If I were you, I would chew my words carefully before speaking to the next queen of this kingdom. We all know the appointment of female workers in this palace is solely for the queen. If you want to remain working here, you know what to do. I'm sorry. Good. Venice, come with me. Um, I don't want to. I want new work. I like what new is teaching me. Venice, my mayhem of coming to this palace is solely for your care and recovery. Earlier today, a great healer spoke to the prince. And he said that you need to go out and interact with the people of this kingdom as that will help with your recovery. And I'll come up with that. He ordered me to take you around the palace. I'll come when I'm done with you. No, please. You have to go now. She said this an order from the prince. In this kingdom, no one dares question or refuse the orders from the king or his prince. Please, just go. Messenger from my destiny? Yes! Your destiny sent me to save you! To save me? You mean... You mean you know me? You know who I am? My name, my original name. Where I come from. Who my people are. You know everything. Please tell me. Ask no more questions and let me a full ears if you want to leave. Venus, it's the same name your parents gave to you. Queen and mother of great kings. I, 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 I greet you too. But please, do not refer to me as a queen. For the gods have not formally named me as... Ndeveka! Yes! You are 
The gods are only bidding their time to family. Pronounce you by name. You really? You, you, you mean it? Place your hands on the ground and swear by the gods of the earth that you are going to do exactly what I am going to tell you to do to help Venus escape or you will be barren all your life. Swear to the mother heads? No! The gods forbid I cannot do that! You will do it! I am ordering you in Judeca! Do it now or I'm sure that they will strike you! Please, please, please do not harm me. I, I, I will do, I will do as you have said. I, I, I swear, I swear, I swear as you have instructed. No! The only thing that will free you from this now is if she refuses your help on her own. Now listen, you must help her to escape from the palace and this land within the next seven days. Escape? To where? I don't know anywhere. I don't even know myself, not even my name. Cousin the prince about his sojourn in the jungle is an abominable offense for which the gods of the kingdom have decided that you should be killed and your blood used to bet the, the prince. Unless that is done, he and his family will lose the throne forever. And Antideka will still be them as the bride of whoever the throne will be given to. For she is destined to be the next queen of the kingdom. That ritual is to be carried out in seven days from today. Not even our Godot Belly, the chief priest, is aware for now, as the gods have chosen to keep it to themselves. So a few hours to when the ritual will be carried out to avoid someone and lighten you somehow. Now to serve their dynasty, the Igwe and the prayers will not refuse the ritual when the God finally reveals to the Dudele and he informs them about it. Yes, as difficult a choice as it will be for the prince to make due to the vow he made to you in the jungle. He will still agree to have you killed if God is right to your soul. the look on her face. She sure believed every word of what I said. <laughs> of course someone will meet you when you escape from the kingdom. However, that will not be to restore your memory and take you back home. Poor thing. Hmm. Poor little thing. It will be with a dagger to send you to your ancestors. Sorry. Sorry, my dear. The unending drama from the gods and the pronouncement about you from Jello and Co. leave my daughter and I no space for taking anything for granted in your case. Even if it were to be otherwise. The presence of a little and mysterious young lady like you close to the prince under the circumstances is very, very unacceptable to us. Yes. The gods are indeed the entire prevailing 
circumstances left us no such choice at all. My inch deca, my inch deca must be the chosen bride and the next queen of Ichigo kingdom. And my position in the now dog family must never be threatened directly or indirectly. Not now. Not ever. Never. Goodbye, little puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Phase one gone. Others follows. I took her as for sightseeing, Your Highness. They said it's good for people with memory loss. Who said? Because the last time I checked, your mom is a surgeon and not a neurosurgeon or a neuroscientist. So who said? If you must help her, like I said, you must take permission from either me or my father. You are not allowed to take her outside the palace unaccompanied. This will be the last time you will flaunt my orders. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Leave. It's really a wise decision for me to have pretended to her that I'm not aware that she lied with my name in order to convince Venus to follow her out of the palace. What if she did it for something else that I'm helping her as she claimed? Could it be that she's here for something less noble than what she and her parents told my father My father and I actually, is that what she's here to do? If she could lie with my name without fear, can she ever be trusted? Should I call her back and confront her with what I know and send her back to her father's compound now? No. Presence in the palace is offering me the opportunity to closely monitor and study her well. As my wife to be, it's very important. Important enough for me to tolerate what she did today. <sighs> Detailing is here, I can be personal girl to watch her more closely henceforth. Will just be enough. I want you to pay very close attention to Njideka. Report any funny move from her. Keep a very close eye on her. Then I should keep a close eye on your future wife, your highness? You fool. Do so exactly what I just said. I'm sorry, I miss. I'm sorry I asked. Oh my God. Thank you. 
Are you out of your mind? What were you trying to say then? Why did you lie to me, Anoma? That, 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 that yes, I lied. But I did that to take you out of this palace. But what the messenger from your destiny revealed, you should be glad that I took you out of this place. Mm, you, you, you shouldn't have lied. You are, you are the queen to be. What is more important to you right now? Lecturing me on the virtues of a queen? Or planning your escape from this palace so that you can return to your people? Which is more important to you? Tell me. Mm, I want my memory back. Then I return to my people. Good. Um, I'm hungry. I'm sure no much of the don't cook in my life. Don't worry, I'll go get our food so we can eat and plan your escape. <laughs> He has already forgiven me. Even if he has something else to do, his personal guard will allow to us as usual. My worry now is the things he said, the impression that those things he said must have created in Venice's mind. Mom, I just left the room after speaking to her to secure advice. She's still looking at me all shocked and suspicious of me when I left. Listen, you have to do all you have to do to clear the vow on her mind and stop her from talking to someone else. See, even if it means you going down on your knees to apologize to her, do it. You have to go back to her, forget your pride and do as I have said. Need I remind you that? Your father is still angry. Yes. He's still angry with us because of the embarrassment we caused him. Have you forgotten? The show we put up two days ago while you were going back to the palace. His majesty called him and lampooned him thoroughly on it. He's been very angry. And we've not been talking. Not to each other. Yes. You have to do what you have to do to handle this. If you fail to handle this and it goes out of hand, <laughs> it poses a threat to your marital plans and our position in your father's house. So, you need to handle this. Do not forget that the spiritualists say that this girl is our nemesis. And I believe you know what that word nemesis means. If you fail to handle this and put a stop to it, we are doomed. So, if you'll be needing my help, put a call. I will find a way to come there and do it. Okay, you say you can handle it. Then stop talking and do the needful. All right. Best of luck. Keep me posted. Sure. <laughs> ah, we can't be bigger than ours. We are the daughters of the soul. At last, the food is finally here. I'm so sorry for the slight delay. It's magic. 
just to send for me to be quiet and stop raining your dirty saliva into our food. That's too harsh for. I mean, you're in no position to judge my choice of words in this palace. Venice, don't ever let me remind you of this again. I'm sorry. Wow. Wow. It worked. My psychology lecturer was spot on on this one. He said that people in a situation are best controlled by appearing authoritative and in control than by soft talks. That will portray someone like me to death as afraid and vulnerable. The way she quickly apologized and comported herself. There's a short way to go. Put in the fear and respect of me in her and in as well. Yes, she has seen Noma literally flinging at the sound of my voice. I've been put on the edge all the time and... The soup is quite delicious. It's one of his highness and his majesty. Quiet! Quiet. Inoma, I hope this pandered yam is well granted. It's from the same mother as the one his highness and his majesty are eating right now. I'll forgive you for the sarcasm because I am hungry. I just want to eat. Venus, let's go ahead. Elena, what are you trying to do? We eat from the same plate. I insisted on that the very same day I came here. Not when you were sharing a meal with the next queen of this kingdom. I gave you such privilege based on compassionate grounds. Not for a palace sent sleep. I am not quiet! Leave before I lose my appetite. I've lost my appetite. Is this a person? Oh, I think I should go back and see you get up. No. Regardless, my, my pride has to be intact. What a lady, so brash, so arrogant, so lacking in virtue of any kind. She used the prince's name to lie and take me out of the palace. And even when the prince made me realize that she lied, she was still too arrogant to show real remorse. Hmm. What a woman. And a messenger from my destiny instructed me to trust an arrogant liar like her. Even plan my escape with her. Such a messenger is meant to be spirit, and spirits are supposed to be wise. Where is the wisdom in telling me to trust a liar with my life? A liar who treats such a kind and generous girl as Noma with no respect. 
with so much contempt that she insisted that she be kicked out of this room. I refused to back down till the prince reluctantly agreed. Hmm. Inoma, what is it? His Highness and I are on our way to a royal wedding in Nduma Kingdom. Even if you are not aware of it, are you blind? She called me Njideka. Not you. I'm sorry, Your Highness. His Majesty and his cabinet are long gone before us. In fact, we're running late. The affairs of this palace and our people take precedence over everything at all times. Everyone in this palace knows that, including Norma. I do not believe she will call me back from a social function if it's not important. I took time to explain this to you because I don't want it to repeat itself again. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Norma, what is it? Your Highness. She is totally clear right now and safe for you to make contact again with her. Venus? Yes, Your Highness. Are, are you sure? I can smell on anything about this, Your Highness. Her menstrual flow has stopped completely. Thank the gods. Okay, take me to her immediately. Your Highness, we're running late. The function is called off. Hold off! <gasps> I hate this girl! Be careful. I... No one questions the king and the prince when they make decisions in this palace. It's forbidden. You need to leave tomorrow. I don't trust that no one will overhear us talking in the room. So, I called you here Please, to Please, I want more time. Venice, there is no time. You don't have that time. I still have four days. Are you okay? Venice, I am talking about your life. I know. And I still insist on taking my time emotionally to prepare myself for the whole thing. Venice. Please, I want it that way. Don't try to convince me otherwise. Excuse me. What does she mean by she wanted more time to emotionally prepare herself for the whole thing? Does it mean that the stunt my mother and I pulled on her failed to achieve its intended purpose on her? We are talking about her life for heaven's sake. How can someone be this carefree about her whole life? Even with the memory problem she's battling with, death should scare her. 
as it does to everyone else. Look at how peaceful she's here sleeping. I wish, I wish I could just bury Dagger into her chest and head everything tonight. Calm down, calm down, Judica. Do not allow anger and hate to get the better of you tonight. Relax and meet your mother for further planning. Unoma, how many times have I warned you not to take her out? And stop teaching her the silly things you do. What do you think this place is? A poor people's quarter? I was born and bred in this palace. Meaning what? Unoma, I am asking you, what do you mean by that? Maybe I'm in no position to lecture you on what to do and what not to do in this palace. How dare you she is my friend! Your friend? Venus, who am I to you? Your enemy? Tell me. Both of you are my friends. Severally, Noma has confided in me. To serve you with dignity. Please, she deserves the right to love, respect, and serve you. She also wants to be your friend too. She does not need my love and respect or friendship to serve me. As the next queen of this kingdom, as long as you live in this palace, you will continue to serve me. It's okay. She's right. I'm sorry. Please, Mom. Is there anything you would have me do for you? I overheard you speaking to Venice about going to the markets and restocking the things in the kitchen. I heard so overheard you talking to His Majesty about the list you made. And he gave you some money. Let me have it. Yeah. You want me to give you the list and the money? As the next queen of this kingdom, I want to start restocking myself. You know, Ma, I need you to understand something. If you ever try to argue or disagree with me, the very day I will come into this palace as the next queen, you will leave. Please. Someone in your position is not expected to... Don't you dare question me or lecture me on what to do. Come with me and give me the money. Now! I wish it was you. I wish it was you. The girls need as the place is bright to be. You look, talk, and behave queenly. You are more deserving of the prince than her. And the prince seems to like you a lot. He doesn't. He just pities me instead. Pity, like, love are all positive products of human emotion. And they all have their depth in expression. See. I know what I saw in the prince's eyes the day he was with you after he, he, he almost dropped you. Stop. Please stop. Hmm? I'm not here to know whether someone likes me or not. Such things are not important to me. 
especially someone like me in my condition. I want to know who I am. I understand. Everything will be fine. Okay? Please, let's go. Norma was right, dear Venus. She was very right. I I also wish you were the one. Jideka seems too desperate to go to the market for the restocking that she wouldn't even let Norma tell her anything about the permissibility or otherwise of of it for someone like her in the palace. What is she really up to? Send this yak after her to find out for me? No, no, no. She, she could just be bored and needed something to do. I, I think I should just keep pretending that I'm not aware of all the hostile attitude that she has been putting up against the Norma. As they have been more revealing of her through character to me than anything else. I cannot reject her as my bride, Eve, and when the gods finally name her specifically. But I can at least equip myself with enough information about her mannerism that will enable me handle her decisively as a wife while she's here in the palace. Besides, by what she did, she has unknowingly created an opportunity for me to take Venus out alone and get to have some quality private talking time with her. Yes, she has. And I'm not going to miss it ever. Take this money. Go to the market and buy the things in that place carefully. If need be, get help from the market women. And when you're done buying, give me a call. I will come pick you up with the items. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'm done. This palm wine in my hand is of such top quality. Have a test. Mm. Mm. This is good, I told you. So why not sit down and let's savour it together? Oh no, Father. There won't be need for that. I actually came to seek for your permission to take 
Ingedek and venues around the kingdom, you know, for sightseeing. I believe that will give us the opportunity to bond more. Oh, good, good idea. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a nice thing to do. Mm, but why take Venus along with you? Well, she's actually the reason I'm doing this. I believe that will help weaken her memory recovery process. Sounds nice. I, I totally agree with you. I, <laughs> you, you have your way. You have my consent. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank the gods that my father is not aware yet that Indideka is not in the palace now. I will leave with Venus and Isiaka through the back gate. Okay, would you get ready? I want to take you out for sightseeing around the kingdom. Me, Your Highness? Yeah. With Injidaka. Where is she? Your Highness. When? Now. Is it a problem? Um, Your Highness, she she's not in the palace right now. Um, she, she was she was bored. She needed to do something with her to make her busy with her time. So she insisted on handling the task today. I apologize on her behalf, Your Highness. Why does it look like you both are hiding something from me? Are you covering up? No, Your Highness. I mean, she's your wife to be, and we're just ladies in the palace. I don't need to apologize. I understand that you're covering up for her. Women supporting women, I guess. All right, just go, get ready. So we'll get going. Yes, Your Highness. Sorry, now, now. Sorry. Sorry. Can you try maybe uh, your uncle just match you? What? Are you serious? Sorry. What? It's so painful. How come? Sorry. Sorry. Can you, can you just try first, first it? I think there is a slight dislocation on the bones or something. Just try and kick. This is really serious. Oh Sorry. God, Sorry. Let me take a look at it, Your Highness. I have some ideas about bone and ligament settings from my maternal grandfather. Um, I don't think there will be need for that. 
I think since we are close to the Decker's place, the mom can take a look at it. She's a professional in it. Your Highness, working from here to Ichi on a Chesa's compound with a strained or dislocated ankle could actually make the case worse for her. Um, she's not going to work. You want me to carry her, Your Highness? I'll, I'll carry her since it's, it's quite close. No, oh, you're fine. What? No. No, don't worry. Just hop in. It's close. Sorry. advised me on how to give the royal permission to leave the palace. So I came up with a kitchen restocking. I thought that would end your forgiveness and be an excuse to come see you, mom. Mother, how do I go about this? How do I make her agree to whatever we tell her without further delay? Um, you have to threaten her. Get her threatened. Yes. Mom, what if she reminds me that the messenger from her destiny said that I would die if I... You don't need to. You don't need to panic. Just tell her that you would tell the highnesses what transpired in your way and how her destiny... Your Highness, what is wrong with her? What are you doing here? What are you doing in your father's compound? Is this the market you told him Norma you're going to? Um, uh, your Highness, her car. Her car developed fault. So I told AGK to see to it. Yeah. Since the market is close by. And um, we're trying to get the mechanic to work on the car. Yes, my prince. What is wrong with her? You okay? The voice. Which voice? The voice. Um, Indy Jacob, please. Did the prince just say this is your father's compound? This is my father's compound. Is she your mother? She's my mother. Uh, bring her inside, please. Let me see to the... To, to the... Don't ever allow him carry you in his hand like that again. Who? Oh. Don't you dare play ignorant with me, Venice. Else you will provoke the demons in me. I'm sorry. The voice in the forest. And the voice of your mother's destiny in evil cosmos is the spirits. And the messenger of a spirits is a spirit. 
the spirit can use anyone's voice they want. That is, they can do just anything. I never said that the voice of the messenger and that of your mother's are alike. How come you came so quick to that conclusion? <clears throat> Let's talk about your escape plan, Venice. I want to sleep. You want to sleep? Are you talking about- I know you're talking about my life. The owner of the life who is in danger, right? Let her worry about her life. That is I want to sleep. to give her a professional physiotherapy. Uh, you see, as, as I said, my mom being a medical doctor, bone healing is my, my mother's family's profession. She got the special abilities from them. Um, Venus, I'm, I'm sorry if the way I pulled you caused you some pain. Please let me see. Authentic, my Lord. Please, leave my sight. Get out now! Sorry, Father. 
walk with me. The gods asked me to meet them in the jungle of kings. I will be there for three days. When I return, you will repeat your sojourn in the same jungle on the fifth day. Prepare for it. Why is it? You asked that we bring Venus. Here she is. The gods so demanded, and their intentions have been accomplished in the spirit. See you all when I return on the third day. <laughs> 